Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Asim, and this is a this is a, this is an update for Kronk algorithm. So these are the cells arranged in columns, and these are the input patterns. I was actually thinking of having one bit for every column, but then, like the if we have one bit for every column, then the first column will fire as good as the fourth column and then we cannot have inhibition decide which 40 columns out of the 2048 columns we need to to represent our pattern so okay so this is the first suppose this is the first pattern and it's connected to every column but I have just shown its connections to these two columns and suppose these two these two columns fire for this pattern and these two cells shown in brown they fire and these two cells represent this pattern after this pattern suppose this pattern is given as input then suppose these two columns fire for this pattern and these two blue cells represent this pattern so now when these two blue cells fire immediately after these brown cells the connection between this blue and the brown oh sorry it's peacock color okay anyways this blue and the brown cells get strengthened as you can see these brown cells are also connected to other cells in this column but as these cells don't fire immediately after brown cell the connections are not that strong but the connection between these this blue cell and this brown cell is stronger and yeah so next time when whenever you have this pattern these brown cells fire and and as the connections of these brown cells are stronger with these cells these cells are put into a predictive state these two cells and so even before this pattern is incident uh, this pattern is given as an input the network knows that this uh, the network knows the these two cells are going to fire and so yeah one important thing is how can we uh, how can we recognize a pattern how can we get a pattern out of this network suppose we don't know this pattern suppose we don't know what this input second input is and we just have this input so when this this input fires these two cells these two cells are put into a predictive state now from these two cells how would we know how how can we uh, how can we calculate this new pattern okay so what i think about it is as the network gets used to having these patterns uh, every column every uh, all those those 40 columns that represent a particular pattern they get skilled in representing that pattern so their weights are accordingly adjusted if the learning is turned on so for this pattern if and for this column uh, the the weight for this first bit is high for this this bit is high and this bit is high so when this yeah, this cell is in a predictive state so so when we have 40 columns in a predictive state uh, we would have 40 different patterns like uh, based on their weights uh, connection weight so so uh, the algorithm says that every column is connected to 50 percent of the input bits so let's take this input pattern and it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 oh, 8 8 input bits so suppose it's connected to every column is connected to 3 input bits so it would be good if every column is connected to every input bit but even 50% would work i guess as long as we know uh, as long as we know the exact exact place of the connection 
so suppose this column we consider this column so it's it's weight towards the input patterns are given here so suppose the first weight the connection to one is 0 0.8 then the second weight uh, uh, it's not connected to second bit third bit fourth bit it's connected to fifth bit and that the weight here is 0.5 suppose I'm just assuming randomly and here it's 0.9 so so if this this column is in a predictive state and we are supposed to predict an output then we would have like yeah we'll have this weight as an output then if we consider this column and suppose it has weights like 1 dash 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 1.8 dash dash then we'll have the output from this column like this then then there is one more suppose there is one more column which does not fire for this pattern then it will have an output like this so it's the, its cumulative output is since these two bits are zero these bits don't count it's not connected to any other bit it's just connected here with 0.5 permanence so so the so the output is 0.5 for 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 a column which does not fire and and suppose we have like a minimum threshold of 1.9 for a, for a for a column to fire so inhibition uh, kicks the, the kicks this column out of the out of the representing columns so this the column with this weight doesn't represent this input then suppose there's one more column which <coughs> represents this pattern and it has weights like this so all all the way all, all the firing columns their connection weights with the input would get added up and then finally we have we would have a, a, a suppose a vector with certain values and based on those values using a certain threshold we can most accurately calculate the you know the the input pattern we can predict the input pattern okay thank you uh, there's one more thing I would like to add talking about the n number of predictions now suppose uh, when we have this first pattern as an input these two brown cells predict suppose these two columns and then later on when we have this pattern as an input after this pattern then these two blue cells predict these two columns so so now uh, this this column has support from these brown cells as well as these blue cells so this column will fire more than these ones and so the predicting ability of this column is higher than these two columns so I've just shown like three columns but like this brown cells will have connections with ten different columns like they'll they'll put ten different columns in a predictive state similarly this blue blue cells would put twenty different columns in predictive state and based on the like we'll choose the top top some percent of the columns and based on that we'll have 40 column predictive columns representing our next prediction then we have like there will be like four pre uh, for this brown column this blue cells are first prediction suppose this column is the second prediction now let's start talk about the third prediction suppose this column is a third prediction then these cells will have connections with suppose this cell is the third prediction then these blue cells will have uh, will have strong connections with this cell these brown cells will have strong connections with blue cell, this cell but these connections of these brown cells with this cell will be little little less stronger than its connections with these two cells so whatever be the circumstances what the weights are such, uh, such weights are adjusted in such a way that this fourth prediction cannot be 
higher than like it cannot fire more than this third prediction so when this third prediction actually fires when we get an input which fires this third prediction this third prediction will again reinforce this fourth prediction and then the fourth prediction will be high enough to fire yeah that's all I wanted to that's all I thought about okay now finally thank you